most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims? I didn't. No, you ate one. <laughs> We're enthralled by the scene. Yeah. Is there going to be a victim in here? Ah! Ooh, that would creep me the hell out. Iconic. This is famous mask, isn't it? Iconic. And it almost emphasizes his eyes even more. It makes it look more like, yeah. look like more skull-like, his socket. Hello, and welcome back to Cinema Rules. My name's Tom, and behind the camera we've got Sean. Hello. And today, Sean, what are we watching? Silence of the Lambs. 1991. Classic. Before we were even born, Sean, but they say the pinnacle of the thriller slash horror genre. Yeah. I have seen it, but years and years ago, and I, I've, I can't remember because the sequel directed by Ridley Scott called Hannibal, yeah. I always get like mixed up with this one. It's probably been 10 years. It's probably been 10 years since I've actually seen it. I can only remember the liver scene like that. Yeah, the classic the kind classic of... Scene, uh, and that's it. Anthony Hopkins behind the glass. Yeah. I think he won. I think the, the, I think the fact might be is that he won best, either Best Actor or Best Supporting Actor Oscar with the smallest screen time ever. Really? For a person, yeah. Um, in, in that role. I don't know if it was Best Actor or Best Supporting Actor. But um, I'm excited to go back into it, and I want to I want to just see what the atmosphere is like and what the writing's like with new eyes. With new eyes, now that we've been watching so many films, does it hold up? Is it a good thriller? Are we on the edge of our seats? And is this one a Patreon poll, Sean? It is a Patreon poll. What it, would we it, do it without, won the poll. What would we do without our beautiful patrons, Sean? <laughs> they they they're helping us on the quest to watch every film ever made. And if you want to be a member of Patreon and choose the films that we watch on the channel, just please be kind and choose some nice films, <laughs> <laughs> not, not anything terrifying related, then um, go ahead and click the link down below and become a member today. Vote for the cheapest, vote on the cheapest tier. That's right, isn't it, Sean? Yeah. There we go. Uh, without further ado, 1991's The Silence of the Lambs, based on a book, did you know, Sean? I did. By Thomas Harris. It's a, uh, there's four books and there's four films. Oh, okay. And there's an insanely good TV show. Yeah, um, I remember with, you uh, Mads about Mikkelsen. That. Oh yeah. my God, it's so good. We need to watch that on the channel as well. <laughs> right, let's go. Silence of the Lambs. If you want to watch the full length reaction, link in the description oh, below. Really excited to watch this again, actually. I have no idea what to expect. I can't really remember, recall what it's about. Silence of the Lambs. I've, yeah. There was another one that they made, uh, but they called it Manhunt. If you were doing that, I'd cut the rope. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would, like. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you think you'd be able to beat me in this assault course race? You wouldn't even finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Uh, oh, damn, I forgot to start the timer. The guy <laughs> says to the fish. Whoa, look at that arm. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Skin's victim. Imagine getting skinned alive, Tom. I'm all right, mate, don't worry. The psychiatrist Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. <laughs> he definitely came with that name before he even <laughs> wrote the story. So rare to capture one alive. He's out of Stranger Things? Yeah, still looks old, that. You know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember one who's attractive. Jesus. A bit forward and creepy. Because this can be quite a fun town if you have the right guide. Ugh, what the hell? Who speaks like that? Tom does. People in the blooming 90s, mate. <laughs> I don't believe Lecter's even seen a woman in eight years. This guy's clearly an, an antagonist, isn't he? If he attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand, sir. Look at the amount of bars. Look at her. Save one of her eyes. Oh! Mate, the, the red, fact that he's enshrouded in red. The red right? glow, yeah. It's like Magneto's prison in X Men 2. <laughs> I'm Barney. He told you don't get near the glass. Don't get near the glass, but it's glass. It should, surely it should be strong. I put on a chair for you. Oh, yes, it's very good. I'll lock this gate just in case he kills you and tries to go after <laughs> us. <laughs> 
<laughs> You'll do fine, as he says, safely behind bars. <laughs> I'd be intrigued to go and talk to uh, someone like that. Oh, 100%. All of them have bars except for his. Oh. He's uh, waiting. Uh, already. Yeah. That's so good. ominous, isn't it? His eyes were automatically on locked her. to us as well. May I see your credentials? Don't show him anything personal, I guess. Closer. Not when you say it like that. <laughs> sit, please. I wouldn't sit after he asked. It's got such an iconic voice, hasn't it? Yeah. And sometimes you wear a lady tongue, but not today. <laughs> uh. That is the Duomo seen from the Belvedere. You know what? You know, Bronner. He's a good artist. Are they sure they got the right guy? Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No, you ate yours. <laughs> We're enthralled by the scene. Yeah. He's gripping, isn't he? Every little facial expression. <laughs> the census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver. With some fava beans. Ah! <laughs> you fly back to school now, little Sonic. Bye, Sonic. She's not going to take the papers. Leave them with them. I love how it's a great character introduction. Ah! <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Right in the eye. That facial was the last thing she thought she was going to get. Jesus, man. <laughs> I hope she washed her face. Ah, oh, flashback. Hmm. Her dad was in the police then. Yeah, so she's inspired by him. Johnson, good job. Good entry, good command. Starling, where's your danger area? Corner, Did you check the corner? No, sir. That's the reason you're dead. It's not that hard to remember your corners, is it? I'd, I'd do it on Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> You'd make a great FBI agent, Sean. I did that on Call of Duty at the age 15. <laughs> 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 Look at those computers. Well, not computers, whatever they are. The orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Migs crying. They found him at bed check and swallowed his own tongue. Starling? He was just from whispering to him. Still here, so I just, I he was what? Lecter was whispering to him because he's in the next cell, wasn't he? I figured he's from Baltimore and I looked in the phone book and there's a yourself storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore. That's a bit of a, a leap, that is. That's a bit of a find. It's a good find. What's she gonna find in here? I have no memory of this film. I, I literally have no idea. Glass scene. No idea. Yeah, literally the glass scene and that was it. Collapses right now. Half the face. Oh. Ow! It's a time machine, so. She's not actually gonna find anything about Buffalo Bill though, is she? So. It's a DeLorean. So you're gonna be a victim in here. Ah! Ooh. That would creep me the hell out. There's the door. Mm. Sounded like the door. Oh! oh! It's an actual head. Pickled head. He's just messing with her, isn't he? If you didn't kill him, then who did, sir? Who can say? Best thing for him, really. His therapy was going nowhere. I love the concept of a therapist that's yeah. corrupting people. I've been in this room for eight years now, Kelly. I know they will never. Eight years in that one room. You'd go crazy. I'll help you catch him, Kelly. He's just using her to get what he wants. Yeah. yeah. Tell me who decapitated your patient, Doctor. All good things to those who wait. He has no idea. <laughs> he doesn't. He has no idea. Surely not. How can he? He's been there for eight years. Oh. She's a goner. <laughs> I love how you know that. 
her character's introduction. Yeah. She's happily singing at the steering wheel, so she's clearly completely a random, runner. random character. Young lady as well in a serial killer fucking movie. What kind of mask is that? Oh, my vision goggles. But the thing is, when there's street lights, do you need them? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what? If she can get out of the car and see just what, just as good. Look, do you need night vision goggles, Tom? That's yes. like us going down town and being like, can't, <laughs> can't see any night vision goggles. Yeah, don't help. That's clearly a trap. Don't do it. He's got it. Look, it's possible for him to do it. He just was about to do it. Stop. Who's that guy? He looks like a one, he looks like a member of the family out of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Jeez, I thought he was just gonna shut the doors. Whoa! Been on a water about a week. Looks like a Buffalo Bill type situation. <laughs> Buffalo Bill type situation. <laughs> that guy's <laughs> Own the scene. <laughs> he's like, he's like, really don't giving it his all. Yeah, he's like, don't rush it, don't rush it. But no, how the hell? But no, 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 no. Does it within seconds? Okay, three days. Oh. What the hell is that sticking out his foot? Cows where their bodies were found. Here, Elk River, West Virginia. West Virginia. Don't take me home, country roads. Don't take me home. <laughs> Interesting. At least this guy seems smarter than the psychiatrist yeah. in the prism. Yeah. <laughs> what is that guy looking like that for? It's like Attack of the Clones, man. <laughs> it's just <laughs> eye contact with the creepy uh, guy. Piano piano guy. guy. Yeah. It's the guy. Is it a dad? Jesus, she needed a haircut, didn't she? The whole open casket thing freaks me out. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Now, please, go on now, let us take care of it. Go on now. Do we want to see this? Yeah, that's no. Hell, Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that so they can't smell it? What's this? I wanted raspberry. Oh, yeah, I didn't wonder what he was doing then. Yeah. He hasn't even got anything on his nose. <laughs> the grand reveal! <laughs> <laughs> and the Kazam! <laughs> no! It's interesting. Oh, I was going to say interesting that they're not showing the body, but they are. Well, they're nails. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. Ray, get pictures of her teeth. We'll fax them through. Not liking this one, but. She's got something in her throat. How did she know that? I think she saw something like the blackness of the tongue or something. Oh, the la like the exhale oh! breath. What the fuck is that? Is that a cocoon? Yeah. Oh. Still eight exit wound level with the second or the third thoracic vertebrae. It's mad that they're using a bloody Polaroid. Nice and slow, baby. If the beetle moves one of your men, does that still count? Agent Starling? He's the killer. He's Buffalo Bill. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Looks like sweet chili sauce. How to be a student after torture. Have you brought the cheeseburgers and beer? Not with you. He keeps moths. Moths are, I'm sorry, are just the worst things to ever exist. Like, I'd rather be eaten alive by a lion than to be covered in a swarm of moths. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather face a giant spider or a giant moth? The spiders are pretty bad, man. If it's a giant moth, maybe not because it does. It wouldn't flutter as like. <laughs> Mate, I was in uh, I was in Cambodia on the banks of the Mekong River. And it's the only room, other place he's been other this, than where we heard went. this humming sound that, and turned the light on it. It was like a moth the size of my two hands. Okay, yeah, that's far. <laughs> I thought you meant when giant, I thought you meant like... Like Mothra. Yeah. <laughs> Are we, sorry, he was just naked at a sewing machine. Oh, she's trapped. You have a wonderful chance to show the whole world 
She did not look like that, did she? The young pictures. Yeah. My daughter is Catherine. Boy, that's smart. Release her on home. Jesus, that's really smart. Anywhere in Identifying. As a person. Yeah. It's harder to tear her up. Conduct an interview and refusing to share information with me for the third time. You don't need to know it. You discuss this with him, or you let me do my job. You understand? Hell yeah. If your profile helps us catch Horrible sense of dress. Every day of that week, you may walk on the beach. You may swim in the ocean for up to one hour. Remember? That's a brilliant deal. They went above and beyond. Nah. <laughs> if I help you, Terry, we'll return this bus to quid pro quo. I, I use them as you tell me. Not about this case, though. About yourself. Nope. Would you risk him getting nope. into your head just for that? What is your worst memory of childhood? Death of my father. It was yours when you fell over and cut your knee open that time? No, me meeting you. <laughs> my mother died when I was very young, so. It's like he's satisfied. Like, it's like, like satiated so, yeah, by yeah, the like knowledge. Soaking in yeah. it. Soaking it in, like, oh, this Bathing is. Bathing in it. Yeah. And you said that I was very close to the way we would catch him. What did you mean, Doctor? There are three major centers. Look his eyes. It's such a battle going on between them, a verbal yeah. battle, isn't it? He's listening in. Mister, my family will pay cash. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. It rubs the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. It. He ain't treating like people, does he? Yeah. I designed it. Of course, I worked in a few conditions for my own. Pen. Who is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Louis. I told the rest of the senator herself, but only in Tennessee. So he's taking it into his own hands to try and get the credit for it and yeah. catch him Buffalo Bill. It's like his famous mask, isn't it? Iconic. And it almost emphasizes his eyes even more. It makes it look more like yeah. look like more skull like his socket. Did you nurse Catherine yourself? What? Did you breastfeed her? Now wait a minute. Yes, I did. Toughened your nipples, didn't it? What the f fuck? Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Love your suit. It's <laughs> 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 cage match. It's <laughs> from Spider Man 1. <laughs> <laughs> Always knows that mm. she's there. What did you see, Chloe? What did you see? Lambs. Lambs. You ran away. Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Such a cool title, isn't it? First, I tried to three damn like dual meanings. Mm. Doctor Chilton, I presume. I think you know each other. Doctor. Okay. To Chilton, I presume. Oh, there he is. Will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Tell her! Your case file. Goodbye, Terry. Whoa! Does he feel like a, an affection for her, though? Like, does he like her? Does yeah. Like, like if he, he if he had the opportunity to kill her and no, eat her, he, I don't think he, I think he would. I think he would kill her. I think he sees her more as an equal. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think this is the pen scene. Ready? Or he did so, you think he still got the pen? Has to. How slow are they going? I'll be like, extra, run! Extra rare. Ow! Oh, he took a chunk of his cheek out. Oh. Does it so elegantly, doesn't it? I can't wait for the Dr. Chilton to find out that he's escaped. Oh! Oh my god, he's like... It's like wings, it's like an angel. Flayed him. That's nasty. Flayed him, like... 
<laughs> oh! Oh my oh, god. Did he go up in the elevator and hide the body then or something? Yeah, on top maybe. The blood. Yeah, blood is dripping. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to happen. Yeah, skin in his face. If they didn't put, they didn't knock him out in the uh, gas. They just yeah. Oxygen. Him. <laughs> Brilliant. I knew there was, he's I knew, so in it. I knew those textiles lessons at school would come in handy. <laughs> so he's creating oh. some he's creating something. In order to find her, you need to be like her. She starts putting on her clothes, sleeping in her bed, <laughs> eating her food. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How did they not find this when they were searching her room? It was so easy. The compartment. It's the first thing that she picked up and looked. <laughs> So they got a picture of him. Was that him? Yeah. Oh no, he's wearing a skin suit. Oh, she's gonna grab the dog and threaten him. Hold it hostage. Create a TikTok video. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, so good. <laughs> Find on a YouTube short. <laughs> this is literally my U TikTok feed. <laughs> oh. Is that the sound of the Temple of Doom when they go into that room for the world of insects? They give you like... Like five million, Tom, you wouldn't do that. It's yeah, the wrong house, isn't it? <laughs> Happy birthday! Motherfucker, <laughs> this old woman like it's blasted back. Yeah, no. <laughs> What's the one liner you would say? Die. <laughs> she knows. Yep. No! She needs to check her corners. He <laughs> comes out in that outfit he was wearing earlier. <laughs> oh! Surely that skin would die and decompose. Oh! <coughs> what is that? Is that dirt? She's an idiot. I don't know why she didn't like lead him into a false sense of security. Take the card. Leave and then get the cops all in. He's gonna hit. He's gonna it. click. Surely they wanted him alive though. Makes that scream, he comes back for one more scare. <laughs> this guy hardly did anything apart from <laughs> put her in to see yeah. Hannibal Lecter. I have expect you have expect Hannibal Lecter to be in the audience. Oh also. shit! Yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> oh, that cake looks amazing. Look how perfect oh, that man. looks. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go buy some cake on the way home. Though. <laughs> the phone call is gonna be Hannibal. Sorry. Yep. I do wish we could chat longer, but it's the origin story of Batman and the Joker. Oh. oh! Dr. Chilton. For dinner. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my god. I said at the beginning of the film, I hope this guy dies. And he's, he's going to get that's going to be the end. We're just going to zoom pan out. Oh. And then it comes up, Hannibal will return. <laughs> In the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sean, 2000... 1991. Yes. The Silence of the Lambs. Great name. It's such a good name for a uh, crime kind of thriller. Well, when you hear the title, you're like, I wonder what that even means. Yeah, and it's got dual meaning as well, hasn't it? It's, yeah. It's Go on, like then. the innocent people. 
Well, go on then. What's the, the innocent war? girls that were kind of killed by Buffalo Bill, but also the backstory of Clarice. Because they had them all, because he slaughtered them, and then she was trying yeah, to stop the slaughter of the lambs, and, and, and then the of lambs, and then because they died, that's yeah. yeah. Um But yeah, man, this is a great film. Do you want to get in frame? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a great film. My only gripe is that we didn't see him in the full skin suit at the end. <laughs> no, no. You would you would complain about that, wouldn't you? Yeah. No, this is a really well directed and well shot film. It's a classic, though, and the storyline is great as well. It's yeah. two stories in one, and, and I've got to say, I was every time Anthony Hopkins is on screen, I'm just utterly like enthralled by his character. Yeah. yeah. Like the way he looks into the souls of people and how kind of intelligent he is at the same time as being absolutely like psychotic. But I'm, I'm glad that the film didn't just hinge on him because once he, his part was done, the film was still gripping enough to keep my attention. Yeah. Yeah. And you almost expect him. Actually, you do. F- I did forget like when Clarice was at the house at the yeah, end. You forget about him as a character yeah. and he comes back at the end and it's a great little it's book bookend, end, bookend, bookend yeah. for it, isn't it? Yeah. And I think people's complaints about the second film is it does hinge on him t- too much. Completely. Right. Um, but, but it would make sense because this it kind of alludes to a sequel of, of them trying to locate him yeah. again. Um, so I could see I can see that, and I, I wouldn't I wouldn't complain myself. But I, do you know what I really like? I really like the intimacy of the the dialogue scenes, not just with her and Hannibal Lecter, but with her and other characters as well. You know, like the yeah. the straight. The, 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 the PO, shot it's, like, it's, it's like the POV the, shot of, yeah. of, of looking into and and it does draw the audience in because it's as if the character is having that dialogue with you but it yourself. develops as well because when she first has those she doesn't look into she's like looking mildly off yeah. camera yeah. it's like she opens up more as the as the film goes on yeah and she becomes more kind of she, it's about her growth as a character, really, isn't it, as well? Because as soon as Hannibal Lecter comes into, into the movie, he's already got this sense of power He's literally, as soon as the camera pans to his He's cell, always facing the camera. Eye, eye contact in so, the scene. So, so, so it shows his power. And obviously, yeah. as she grows throughout the story, like you say, um, her power that then grows as well. So you, she starts focusing those, on the camera. Those scenes in his cell could be really boring in terms of how they're shot oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but the way they're the way they're lit as well mm. and the way they play around with his character in them yeah I think it, it's quite fresh yeah I, I loved the fact that they it wasn't just a generic story of uh, of a detective chasing one serial killer it was one serial killer um, but with the help of another but Whilst chasing this one down, this it one creates, escapes. It's, it it creates, creates, it's a layered story. Yeah, it's layers of kind of tension, isn't it? Mm. And it's like a battle between their character. Yeah. He wants information about her and she has to kind of psychologically battle him at the same time as physically it's not, finding this other guy. Because a lot of movies are two dimensional in story. And that's not that's not a that's not a um, a critique because most stories are two dimensional in, t- in in the fact that, you know, it's a it's a um a methodical um, uh, storyline, whereas this feels three-dimensional because it feel, it actually feels like a world. Mm. Because and it's similar to um, like like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU. Yeah, that's three-dimensional because you've got so many characters in the same world, and with the in, with with the use of Hannibal Lecter here as a side character, but is still a prominent figure in it, it feels three-dimensional. And that's, I like the layer there. And I like, because it's just, there's just so much depth. He almost story. is like the architect behind her finding Buffalo Bill as well, isn't he? Because he sends the others off on a, on the wrong trail. Well, he, he, he sends her off to find the serial killer, which enables him to get the chance to, he uses the serial killer yeah. to escape. Yeah. You know, he has, he has no, um, you know, he has no attachment to a serial killer just because they, you know, they do this. They have the same, you know, personality or morals as him. He, it's just, you know, one man for himself, and uh, he uses whoever he can in order to get what he wants, which is, you know, serial killer and sociopath and psychopathic tendencies, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah. um, 
I'm, I'm, I just think it's a great performance by both of them as well, actually. Mm. I think, uh, I think, um, oh, I forget her name. Jodie Foster. Foster. I think she's great in the role. As yeah, well. no, I, a really I thought, subtle performance. It's very especially subtle. on that monologue about the the lambs. Well, at the at the, at the beginning, I said to you that I was gonna I was gonna find her annoying because I I find I find her voice distracting. It's a very unique voice. And it reminds me of just The Incredibles. <laughs> so I thought it was going to be quite annoying, but it, I, it wasn't at all. It was yeah. probably me just being a, an idiot, um, thinking that way. But no, her performance was brilliant. And like you said, it's subtle. Mm. It's subtle. She, and thank God Dr. Chilton got his comeuppance at the end. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. That was, that was a final cheer, I think. Everyone in the audience that was watching this in the cinema was yeah, probably thinking, yeah, yeah that dickhead. Get I really <laughs> want to read this uh, the book now as well. Yeah, no, 100%, 100%. The, the, fact first, the, book, the yeah. first book, I think, is called Red Dragon, and that was made right. into a film as like a prequel, as a prequel. with Anthony Hopkins in as well. Oh, okay, okay. So there's three films with him in. Okay. There's another pre- prequel called Hannibal Rising. So, so there's four films in total. So Red Dragon, did you say? Yeah, it's got... Um, 2002. It's got... Uh, okay, it's got good ratings. Who's in it? It's got Philip Seymour Hoffman and... Edward Norton. Ray Fiennes. Ray Fiennes. Ed- oh, Edward wow. Norton's the main guy. Yeah, we'll definitely want to watch that. And what's the sequel to this called? Hannibal. Oh, Hannibal. Wait, eight, yeah. So 10 years later it came out. Yeah, 10 years later. And then the prequel came out 11 years later, like yeah. one year after this. Yeah, that's got some good people in as well, I think. Yeah. Julian Gary, Moore, Gary Oldman's in it. Gary Oldman. Ray Loyetta. Loyetta? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm really intrigued. Let us know what you think of... The Science of the Lambs, and do you rate the other films as well? Would you like us to react to those? What do you rate out of ten? It's a this is a big one, man. Mm. I, I really think it's I a really thriller. It. It's in the th- in the crime thriller genre. I think for me, it's a classic. Mm. Um, based on the performances, the photography, uh, the cinematography. Sorry, um, I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna go high of eight point eight. Yeah, I was going to do the same. Yeah. This is exact my, that's my exact rating as well, I was thinking. 8.8, it's quite a high score for us. Yeah. Uh, it's very rare that we get into the nines and even more rare that we get into the tens. I think both of us may be rated two films each, a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. Maybe yeah. even one. You I did a ghost story. A ghost story and... 1917? No, you did 1917. I did 1917. 1917. Was there... I'm sure there was another 10 out of 10. There was, wasn't there? Yeah. Man, we've reacted to so much on the channel. So much. But... Tis the season for reactions. Yes. I don't know why you're saying it in the sense that it's Christmas. <laughs> I don't it's know, February. No, no. It's the season for reactions. Right, yeah. But let us know if you want to watch... What? The full length reaction. If you do want to watch the full length reaction, link in the description down below for our Patreon page. Um, there you'll also find early access to our videos before they're uploaded to YouTube. Um, but thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Let's go. Yes.